chapter 9. Winter is coming. Season would be changing soon. This meant that many animals would begin to get ready to either go to sleep or move to another area that would still be sunny. Rat was walking through the woods with the picnic he had packed when he noticed that the field mice were packing. When the season changes to winter, the field mice find a new and warm area to live in. Mouse said, Hello, Rat. Won't you come and help us pack? Rat said, Hello, Mouse. Isn't it too early to be packing? It won't be winter for another couple of weeks. Oh, it's always best to get there early. Otherwise, all the best spots to stay in the new area will be taken, said Mouse. Don't worry about that now, said Rat. Come and have a picnic lunch with me. I can't do that now, Rat. We need to finish packing. Perhaps another time, said Mouse. All right, goodbye, said Rat. He continued walking in the woods until he reached the river bank. At the river bank, Rat saw a flock of birds sitting and talking. He knew they were getting ready to leave too. Oh no, not you too. You are also leaving early said Rat. We aren't leaving yet, said Bird. We are only chatting about what route would be best to take to our new home for the winter season. Why don't you stay here instead? We will make sure you all feel warm and comfortable the winter season, said Rat. We can't do that. It is too cold for our wings, said Bird. Don't worry, Rat. The winter season will be over before you know it. We will be back again soon. Rat smiled and continued to walk around once more. After some time, he sat down at a tree to rest. When C Rat sat down next to him. C Rat always traveled and had seen many exciting places in the world. Hello, C Rat, said Rat. It's been a long time since I saw you. How are you? Hello, Rat, said Sea Rat. It is good to see you. I am doing well. Thank you. I have just returned from my trip to Venice. That is exciting, said Rat. I have had a dull morning. Would you like to share my picnic lunch with me? And tell me about your trip? Sea rats agreed. The two animals ate lunch together. 
while Rat listened intently to Sea Rat's adventures around the world. Listening to Sea Rat stories made Rat feel that he was living in a boring place. Oh. He asked Sea Rat if he could join him on his next travel adventure. Sea Rat agreed. Rat ran home to pack when he saw Mole. Mole asked Rat where he was going. I am going with Sea Rat on his next travel adventure, said Rat. You cannot go, said Mole. Your friends need you here. You will miss your home. Rat thought about this for some time. Mole was right. Rat did not want to leave his home. He agreed to stay. Mole and Rat spent the evening playing games together. Wow! What a good story! I hope you're liking it as much as I am and I'll see you later.